Are you ready to learn a simple way to make your vlogs more creative and exciting? Stick around and let me show you how to do it with three different split screen effects in Filmora. Hello, my name is Edgar from Wondershare Filmora, here to empower your inner video creator. I'm going to show you how to create a split screen effect. Wait, I'm going to show you how. We are going to show them how. Let's take a look at my grandpa's books first. In film and video production, a split screen is a technique where the screen is visibly divided into two or more parts, allowing multiple scenes or perspectives to be shown simultaneously. This technique disrupts the traditional seamless view of reality, offering a more dynamic and creative visual experience. First, what you gotta do is to open your project in Filmora. Drag your main clip into the timeline. This will be the central focus of your scene, so place it on the first track, right beneath the other clips. Now, bring the other two clips on top. Use the pen tool to create an initial mask on the second clip, aiming for a square shape that we'll modify later. Adjust the position of this clip and create an initial keyframe with the clip starting out of the frame on the left side. Set the final keyframe where the subject reacts to the hit. With our initial square shaped mask and keyframe in place, adjust one side of the mask and set another keyframe. Next, create a wide rectangle shape, adjust its height to be greater than its width, and align its position and rotation to follow the mask. Duplicate the second clip, remove the mask, and use the Smart Cutout tool to separate the background from the subject. Follow the same steps with the third clip, ensuring the position keyframes align with the subject's reaction to the movement. Finally, in the first clip, Create an initial keyframe when it gets hit by the second subject and a final keyframe when his movement ends. Repeat this for the other clip and our first effect is ready. Moving on to the next one. Place the first clip on the first track and have it end right when the subject places his hand on the right side of the frame. The second clip should start right at that moment. Create a mask, scale it up so it covers the whole frame. Create a starting keyframe there, and then set a final position keyframe with the mask going out of the frame. Now, create a rectangle shape with a height greater than its width to serve as the line dividing the scene. Position this rectangle outside of the frame, and then add a series of keyframes to ensure it follows the mask movement, just as if it's moving with the clip to the other side of the frame. Remember to be pixel perfect on this part. Duplicate this clip, remove the mask, and use the Smart Cutout tool to precisely cut out the background from the subject for a cleaner result. One million zillion jillion dillion cotillion times later. Begin the duplicated clip right when the mask passes through the middle of the frame. And our second effect is ready. For our final effect, Place the first clip on the bottom track and create an initial position keyframe. Then add a second keyframe, adjusting the Y axis until the clip moves out of the frame. And then smooth the curves of the keyframes. For the second clip, find the moment in the shot where the subject jumps and touches the ground. Make sure the position keyframes align with the timing of the first clip's keyframes. Create one initial keyframe adjust the y-axis to move the clip out of the frame and a final keyframe that brings the clip back into view. Remember to smooth the keyframe curves as well. Create a rectangle with a wider width and a shorter height and add keyframes to follow the path where the clips are divided. This should create the illusion of the rectangle moving downwards as the subject jumps and lands, giving the impression that the lower clip is being pushed down. Finally, duplicate the second clip. Use the Smart Cutout tool to separate the subject from the background and place this layer on top of the rectangle. This will make it look like the subject's foot is stepping over the dividing line. And there you have it. Three split screen effects that will take your videos to the next level. Let us know in the comment section below which one was your favorite one. If you enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this in the channel. Keep creating and see you next time.